Hello dear viewers, a very warm welcome to the Divine Roses channel. Today I will like to reflect on a very absorbing thought where the bad thoughts really offend God. Millions in this world have been assailed with bad thoughts and we are often laden with guilt thinking whether bad thoughts are sinful or not. To help you know whether you have offended the Lord or not, it is important to discern if you have entertained those bad thoughts, whether they may be thoughts against charity, holy purity, justice, etc. If one realizes that he or she is having bad thoughts and immediately does something to reject them, such as praying, focusing on another topic, are simply saying no interiorly, then one has not offended God. Rather, one has just performed a morally good action for love of God and one's neighbor and which helps in acquiring a virtue. However, the moment one is aware of the bad thoughts hovering his or her mind and consequently entertains them or gives them to them or gives his consent, then one has committed a free internal action, hence one has sinned. Sin is a free human action which involves both reason and will. If the will does not accept what one's memory, imagination or even senses presents to it because one's reason judges it as wrong, no consent is given, therefore no sin is committed. In order to avoid complications and edicts, it is important to remember the following rule. First, to think is one thing, to consent is another. Second, to feel is one thing, to entertain or accept that feeling is another. And third, to see is one thing, but to voluntarily look is another. Of course, one must not provoke bad thoughts, feelings, nor glances, because if one does, one is already consenting to and the cause of the consequent thoughts, feelings, and glances. However, if one has given into either bad thoughts or indiscreet glances, knowing that they are not good, not all is lost. God loves the humble and contrite of heart. Let's just humbly acknowledge our mistakes and go to confession. There we will receive God's loving pardon and mercy. Dear friends, man's life on earth is nothing but a temptation. As long as we are alive, we cannot be devoid of temptations. Yes, being tempted is not a sin, but yielding to those temptations is a sin. Saint Jose Maria beautifully quoted, the saints are those who struggle right to the end of their lives, who always get up each time they stumble, each time they fall, and courageously embark on their way once more with humility, love, and hope. Thanks for listening. God bless you all.